Hey gluten-free cooks, welcome to Janine's Gluten-Free Kitchen where today we are reviewing the Cuisine Art Vertical Waffle Maker, as so. And as a special bonus, I will be sharing a recipe for a gluten-free paleo waffle mix. Super delicious. So, let's review this baby and make some waffles. So Cuisine Art Vertical Waffle Maker. This is the box it comes in and I'm not gonna even bother pulling it all apart because basically all you get is this and this. Wait, it's just basically a box. But this little beauty is fantastic. Used it a few times and I gotta tell you, it is so easy to use and the waffles that you get from them are delightful. So, what does the box give you? Well, as it tells you, it's a vertical machine that has a mechanism on the side that releases the front plate, which releases the actual waffle, and you're able to take it out from there. And then the mechanism to use it, you have this dial that dials from one to five, giving you a different intensity of waffle colour or crispness, one being the, the sort of paler gold while the five being the more crispy. I'm a big fan of the five. When you turn it on, it starts to heat immediately and it takes a couple of minutes to fully heat and then it lets you know it's ready by beeping. Perfect. They do give you a cup, which looks like this, to pour the exact amount of batter in and then it cooks for a period of time based on the setting that you have set. When it's ready, it beeps again, and then you release it and Bob's your uncle. It's a very Australian saying, isn't it? It means, and there you go. With the flat beds, I know you have to spray, but although you don't technically need to spray for this, I did find that it got a little bit caught at the top. So I do recommend you get yourself some spray oil and just really lightly give the whole surface. It just helps with the cleaning. It doesn't really stick in the waffle maker section. It's more at the top in the spout. <coughs> so first thing, let's make our mix. This is a gluten-free paleo mix, as I said. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna mix it in the blender, just for ease, and it's just basically throw everything in and whiz it up. But I will tell you that if you want to avoid the mix sticking to the bottom and the edges, get your oil, which we're going to put in first, and just kind of let it kiss all the sides so that it's coating. This is a bit of a little, Brick for you. That way, the other ingredients won't stick like it does when liquid hits. Uh, yeah. All right. We've got some almond meal, an essential, some tapioca flour. We've got some eggs, some nice organic or uh, free-range eggs for good taste. We have some coconut powder, coconut flour, sorry. And that's gonna help keep the mixture nice and firm. We've got some almond milk. That's a big mix, isn't it? It's a lot of waffles. And finally, we have some vanilla, some sea salt, and some bicarb that'll help, baking powder, sorry, help make it nice and fluffy. Okay, let's give this baby a whiz. Let's put the top on because it's so high, I don't want it to go everywhere. And start it on low. Scrape it 
down a little because I can see up further where the oil didn't go. It has caught a little bit, so let's just scrape the sides. myself some more almond milk to throw in. waffle maker that's a flat waffle maker you want the mixture to be super thick like you know well not super thick but you want a really thick mixture so the difference with the stand-up um, waffle maker is you're pouring it into a small spout if you have it really thick it's gonna be very difficult to get it down that spout so what I've done here is adjusted the thickness of it so that we can make sure that it goes in there. And don't worry, the recipe that you get below will have those adjustments in there. And that's done. Ready to go. So I've turned that on now, and you can see the light mechanism switches on, and we're waiting for that to heat up and beef at us. So once it's heated, we can go from there and start to pour our mix in. I'm going to measure out what they recommend as the quantity, which is one cup. And let's see what happens when we put in a cup. So while we're waiting for that to heat up, I just want to mention the instruction booklet that you get with the unit. It basically talks about the safeguards and the, and the features of it how to operate it, how to clean the, and, and the maintenance. Uh, and then as well as that, it gives you a bunch of recipes, which is pretty cool. We've got some Belgian waffles, buttermilk waffles, multigrain waffles, gluten-free waffles, lemon poppy seed waffles. There's a whole lot of different waffles. So that's pretty cool that they give you a recipe booklet. So why, why a vertical, uh, unit and why not uh, a, a flat one? Well, I kind of like that it's, it's such a space saver. Ah, there we go. It's ready to go. Let us pour our mix in. And see what happens with one cup. I can hear it bubbling up as it's starting to cook. And I can just see it starting to come to the top. Now, it's really important that you don't open this. <laughs> it's just coming up into the neck just a little. Okay, so that's gone off and that's at a number two. So I want to show you what a number two looks like. When you release it, be very careful. There's a lot of steam that comes out of the sides and you can see there, and I've got plastic tongs so we don't scratch the surface. It's quite pale and to me, that's just not, it just doesn't cut. So I'm going to put it back on and let it cook some more why the vertical over the flat. Whether it be on the bench top or whether it be in a cupboard, it's going to take up a lot less space. So I really like that. I also really like the fact that you've got a pour spout. You're not trying to pour the uh, batter on a flat griddle, which kind of can get messy. So this is very contained. You pour the amount in and it's done. So I really like it. All right, so that's the double and 
Okay, so that was the number two setting and it's a very, very pale golden. Not, to me, not, yeah, it's not enough. So let's put in another full amount, another full cup. Let's bump it up to number five, to the highest setting. Let's wait for the beep because it needs to set to the right temperature first. And then we'll pour that in. Okay, let's try the number five setting. Okay, there we go. Quite a bit longer on the number five. And I'm gonna release it with the tongs because it's quite steamy. And you can see, you can use that little bit to pull the waffle out and it's, the, the form is so much better and it's much more crispy if I compare the two and much more golden. It's pretty yum. And then we can just cut that little lip off. Quite a little bit of blob of uncooked dough. You can throw that away. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make all of those and then come back to you with our final review comments. Okay, so once you've made your waffles, you're going to want to clean your vertical waffle maker and they do recommend that you just use a bit of towel or a cloth to gently wipe down the surfaces. surfaces. So as with any electrical unit, obviously you can't submerge it in water. So that does make it a little bit more difficult, but that doesn't matter whether it's vertical or flat, you're gonna have the same issues. So with your paper towel, give that a wipe through. Okay, that's fairly straightforward with this. So let's see if we get any more with our cloth. You could probably get into the crevices a bit easier with the cloth. Same with these. But I do notice that there is some crumbs still in certain areas. So what I've done is I've got a silicon brush and I'm just going to give that, because you don't want to scratch the surface. It is non-stick but there is no doubt that there are crevices. So use this little fella to just push them out. And as with any unit that has corners, and I don't think it's specific to this unit, there's always little bits that get caught. Okay, wait for it to fully cool down and get yourself a toothpick and get those fiddly little corners cleared because you will not clean it fully with this or with the cloth. Sorry, Cuisine Art. That's just not gonna happen. Okay, but it cleans up pretty well. All right, guys, so the review summary is as follows. The unit is super easy to use, the knobs are easy to use, the, the control temperature controls are easy to use. The pour spout and the, the cup that they supply you is a great amount for the batter to not overflow. The actual waffles themselves came out wonderful. We did have to cook them a little bit longer, as I said, but the tastes were great. They were a great crispy texture. And really at the end of the day, it's going to fall as well on the actual uh, recipe that you use to the taste of the waffle. Let's assume we've started with a great recipe, then the waffle maker, the vertical waffle maker, cooks it beautifully, and you end up with a really delicious product. We decided to make our uh, waffles a berry waffles with lots of strawberries, but you can add whatever toppings that you want to yours. We will probably put some recommendations below that make it super scrumptious. Now, I will say though that there are some cons to this unit. The number one setting is just far too low. I don't know why you would have it so low. It, it creates quite a pasty, pale, uncrunchy result. So you have to kick it up to the number five as a bare minimum. I actually found that you have to perhaps even double it up because I like my waffles super crispy. I still want them moist inside and fluffy 
and you don't lose that by doing the double, the double cook. Cleaning, pretty easy, uh, pretty straightforward. As long as you give it a bit of a spray beforehand, it doesn't stick. It, it cooks really well and it doesn't create anything sort of leftover, no leftover batter gets caught anywhere. But as with any electrical gadgety unit, and this isn't just for waffles, it, it's sandwich makers, it's all sorts of different pie makers, they all have that same issue of corners and crevices being difficult to clean. So you just have to get a bit creative with how you do that, you know, with brushes or toothpicks or whatever. So I would give it out of 10, a seven. Love the fact that it's upright, love the fact that it's um, quite compact and very easy to use. Couple of lost points for the browning mechanism. Needs to pump that up. All right guys, hope you've enjoyed this review. The actual uh, recipe for the waffles are scrumptious, so give them a try. It's been an absolute pleasure. Please hit the like to help support our channel and subscribe as well to support us and also so you keep getting notifications of our great videos. Been a pleasure, take care, we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Welcome to Okay. <laughs> no, it's not good. It's paleo. <laughs> recipe, recipe, recipe. We'll do that one again. <laughs> no? Hey there. Mmm, waffles. <laughs> <laughs> uh...